I'm gonna love you What's going on guys? Um, I'm starting another project. Uh, it's just real rough draft right now. Uh, but it's going to be a drawing. Um, it's going to be... I've seen them before. Uh, crying eyes. Like rainbow colors and stuff. So I wanted to do something like that. So I went ahead and uh, freehanded out. Um, first stage of it. It's very rough, so, you know, don't judge too harsh. But, uh, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like so far. Alright, guys. This is what it looks like so far. But, like I said, very, very rough draft. I just sketched this out in about, I don't know, 10 minutes. So it's still got to be refined, and, you know, I've still got to work on the tears more and I've got to work on the eyes a lot more and um, I'm gonna get started um, filling in detail right, here we go. and I'm just going to do a little here uh, I'm gonna start out lighting the iris and the pupil and stuff and uh, eyelashes um, and uh, yeah I'll let you see a little bit of what I'm doing here Now normally, I would have a reference picture up here, um, if I'm doing it for a customer or for a family member or a friend, you know, and they want something specifically drawn. Um, this, however, is 100% freehand. Um, I have no reference picture. The, the only reference for this is what was in my head. You know, I did get the idea originally uh, from the internet. I've seen a lot of these done with the, the multi-color tiers and stuff, but this is my own interpretation of that. And uh, this was 100% freehand. Uh, there was no reference picture or anything, just my, just my good old noggin for this one. And as you can see, one of our cats, uh, Gremlin, has come to pay me a visit. And uh, here I'll let you see her. Come here, Gina. Oh, and this is my baby. This is a Gremlin here. I've had her ever since she was, well, she fit in my hand. She was actually a rescue. She was born outside. And I tell you, this cat has bonded with me. Uh, when she was a kitten, she was sleeping the crook of my neck. You know, needless to say, this cat means a lot to me. And when the day comes that she ever passes, it's going to crush me. I'll just be honest with you. But I'm going to put you down, baby girl. Daddy got to get some work done here, okay? All right, let's get back to this drawing here. I'll tell you, these polychromos are very smooth pencils. I, I love working with them. They really, they, they're just smooth as butter. I'm not gonna lie. As you can tell, I'm trying to leave 
a little bit of shadow and light so it's even in the the iris pupil whatever you call it I don't but uh, I want to leave a little light and shadow in there you know I don't want to make it completely black all one shade because then well quite frankly it's not as realistic so and I'm going for I would say semi-realistic with this. I mean, naturally, nobody cries uh, multicolor tears, so I guess we'll call this semi-realistic. You know, I want to try to border on the teeter on the edge of realism, I guess you could say. So, let me back draw on some more here. Also one thing you need to be cautious with, um, I didn't tell you about, um, with the Frisma collars, you can pretty much put your hand wherever you want. With these polychromos, with them being a white or a uh, oil core pencil, you do need to be cautious of where you lay your hand or you will drag the oils into other pieces of your artwork and uh, yeah, you, you're not going to get a desirable result. So. Uh, Depending on how steady I think my hands are. With this, you know, as you can see, I've got plenty of areas in here, you know, all around where I can kind of place my hand without actually getting into the artwork itself. So I may not uh, break out any wax paper or tracer paper or anything on this one, but uh, working with these, if you're going to be on your artwork, you may want to put down some tracer paper or something or some wax paper so that you don't smudge up your artwork or drag the oil core into, into undesirable places, so to speak. Okay, I just heard my wife get home, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a break for now. And uh, I'll come back in a little bit and I'll do a little more and show y'all some more. Maybe I'll do some and then video more. I don't know. But anyway, I'll show you more in a little bit. Okay, everybody. Um, I've actually done quite a bit on the eyes. Um, I don't know if you can see or not. Well, uh, here, let me turn this light a little bit. Might be a bit too much. But as you can tell, I've already done quite a bit with the eyes of put a lot of shadowing in there and light reflection and trying to make it as close to realistic as I can um, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna put any uh, eye shadow in there or not my wife brought up a good point she said that I would have had to put the eyeshadow down, then put the eyelashes over it, but uh, I think I can still put a little collar in there and then I'll go back with the black and accentuate the eyelashes more and then I might build it all the way up to the eyebrow. Not sure yet. I probably will because, you know, I'm going to have the colorful tears down here flowing down, so I probably will. But anyway. Um, I don't know what color to use for. What do you guys think? I've got blue for the pupil or the iris, whatever it is. Oh, not a doctor, so. But, uh, I don't know, man. Blue's my favorite color. But there comes a point when you can put too much blue in something, you know what I mean? So. And the, the color that works really well with blue, I don't think it's really going to work well for eyeshadow. Um, the, the opposite color of blue on the color wheel is orange. So 
Those two work really, really well together. Uh, they complement each other really well. Um, but like I said, I don't know that orange is gonna, I've never really seen anybody use orange eyeshadow. I mean, I guess maybe they have, I just ain't paying attention. Usually I see like browns, tans, blues, pinks. I've even seen golds, silvers. I don't guess I've ever really seen orange. I don't know. Well, let's just figure something out here. Um, actually, hold on. I'll ask my wife real quick. Honey! Honey! Do women use like orange eyeshadow? Oh, prostitutes. <laughs> I, I was informed. Yes, they do, but usually it's uh, women of the night that use the orange. To, uh, kind of like a peacock, I guess, draw attention to themselves. Um, so let me get some more advice from my wife. I'll be right back. Um, hey! Okay, so I want not so much clown look. Well, I'm kind of going to have a clown look with the colorful tears, rainbow tears. So... But something may be realistic. What's some realistic eyeshadow colors? Since she has blue eyes. Um, you should do a blue and gray. Gray? Blue. Oh, blue and gray. Well, now look, I don't put eyeshadow on. How would that work? You were going to put eyeshadow on. Yeah. Put light down here. So gray down there? Light. Light. Like a light gray? Wouldn't that look like uh, Mimi off the Drew Carey show? I mean, I do remember that one. And didn't she have like the real bold blue? Yeah. Well, that... All right, folks, as you can tell, we're having a discussion. I have never put eyeshadow on. I know, I don't know the first thing about it. Um, She's talking about putting like a light to a dark, like silver, blue. But all I can get in my head is Mimi from like the Drew Carey show. Y'all know who I'm talking about. And there's not really an effect I'm going for, you know. She definitely stood out, but you know, she stood out a bit too much. I'm not going for that effect. So, um, I'll be back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause this and I'm going to go talk to my wife. And uh, we'll... I'll get this figured out. I'll be back, folks. Okay, y'all. Um, I just got like, I don't know, an attempt of a lesson on how women do eyeshadow. I don't, I don't know if you can see all this or not. My wife was trying to tell me how women do their eyeshadow. I don't know, something about light at the bottom and then dark in the crease and then a little bit lighter above that and then lighter at the top i don't know um and i was informed that since i'm doing rainbow tears here that i may very well want to go with something orange or reddish up here to kind of you know tie it all in together um, I was also informed that the eyebrow, eyebrows go to the corner of your eyes, I guess. This in, I don't know what it's inside corner of your eye. So I'm going to have to extend them over a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Wait a minute, give me this black here. Get it out here. I'm sharpening this a little bit. I don't know these Faber Castell, they sharp so easy. Alright, so we need to end this here. Yeah, that is about right. What are y'all doing? Yep, about there. Alright. Now, put the black back, don't need it anymore. So. 
she says they start with this hair. So we're gonna, <laughs> basically all I learned from her little tutorial how to do it, I learned that I could never be a woman, I could never be a drag queen, uh, never be a cross dresser. I could never be anything like that because I would be the ugliest woman, the ugliest uh, cross dresser, the ugliest drag queen you've ever seen in your life because I just for some reason cannot grasp this concept of this layering collar and starting with this and doing this. I, man, I can't get it. So I hope it turns out all right. We're going to see. We'll, let, let's do it. And I, I'm not taking these eyelashes off. I'm going to try and incorporate this collar within the eyelashes. We'll see what happens. Hey, boy, all you women that are watching this, I don't know how y'all do it. You guys, you guys really are artists, you know. You may not know it, but you are artists. Doing that, how y'all do that, man, I'm telling you, that's artistic. If nobody's ever told you that, I'm going to tell you that. That is, that is freaking artistic. Y'all are good. I'm just going to tell you, y'all are good. Turn it out all right. So I got the sides on. I don't even see it or not. I got like the the, the base collar, whatever you want to call it. Right now. And she said go light and then crease, go dark and then a little lighter and then light at the top. So but, hey, I tell you what, I think it looks all right. Oh, and I'm supposed to inform y'all. Um, this is not how she does her eyeshadow. The, this is going to look very meme-ish. Because <laughs> she heard me say that. Um, but she's right for this is more of like a sci-fi uh, uh, techno look, so to speak. So I need a little bit bolder out of the norm colors. So that's what we're going to Oh, let me put the base over here. <laughs> now, she said darkest collar in the crease, which is where the crease is. Not 
Hell Tank. And can y'all see it? I don't know. Not that bad, I don't guess. For my first time doing eye shadow. I can leave with it. Now I need to make the whatever, oh, eyelashes big. Pretty sure that eyeshadow is not like standard eyeshadow colors, but you know, like my wife said, I'm going for something kind of sci-fi, techno looking, you know. I mean, this, this chick's fixing to cry rainbow colored tears, so, you know, since obviously no one cries rainbow colored tears, then uh, the eyeshadow is going to be something a little different too. So, anyway. All right, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to go about doing these tears. Maybe work on the eyes a little bit. Show my wife the eyeshadow and uh, get my half hour lecture how women don't do that or something. You know what's going to happen. Um, Anyway, I'll show you some more detail or more progress in a little bit. Catch y'all in a little bit. Okay, got a little more done on it. Um, show you. I've started on the the rainbow colored tears. As you can see, I've got the blue and the purple. Um, what I'm doing is going. Uh, I'm starting with blue, moving into purple. I'm going into a red, then into an orange, and finishing them off with yellow and uh, then I'll do same on the other side so you can watch me do a little bit of it I just got done with purple on the well if you're looking at you guys I'm not sure what it'd be to me it's the left eye anyway I've got the blue and the purple done there and I'm gonna move into the red there I've been working on this a couple hours, guys. And I'll just tell you, I do have carpal tunnel in both of my wrists, so. Needless to say, these two fingers right here, as you can see, and right here, and right through here, man, it's smoking hurting right now. But, I'm driving on.
now we've got the red in there. We'll go over to the orange. Woo! Man, it's hurt. What a labor of being an artist. Now you know why I do a lot of spray paint. I've actually had a lot of people ask me why I don't do more drawing. You know, um, why I do so many flows and abstracts and spray paint art. Part of it, not all of it, but part of it is this right here, this carpal tunnel. I've been drawing for so long and on the computer and you know, whatever, and different jobs I've had that, you know, when I'm getting older, I just can't draw like I used to, you know, it, it, it hurts. I had a little hiccup there. Um, <laughs> I didn't realize how long these videos were getting. And uh, yeah, I filled up the uh, I filled up storage on my phone. And uh, yeah, I've even got a, a 32 gig SD card in there or something. I don't know. I filled it up though. Um, anyway, I transferred all of them to the computer. My project folder so I'm back and uh, let's get started on the other side well actually I'm gonna go ahead and get off here because I went and looked and uh, yeah, I got like 45 minutes worth of video I might have cut a lot of that and speed stuff up and all that so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side do a little bit of touch up and uh, I'll come back show you all the finished product how about that okay all done guys what do you guys think? That <laughs> turned out pretty wicked looking myself. Yeah, of course, go sign every one of them. So. Here's the finished product. The eyeballs there. Let me show you up close there. Alright guys, remember, if you like what you see, click on my goofy little mug down there to subscribe. When you subscribe, that keeps you updated when I add new content. Remember, smash that like button. Let us know that you like what you see. And leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you want to see next. Leave us comments about the artwork. Just let us know how your day's been. Whatever you want, doesn't matter. Just leave us a comment. Let us know you're out there watching. And as always, your only limitation is your own imagination. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all again real soon.